Last time on Game Grumps. Hundreds of years of tradition. Uh, it sends the cream of the crop into the <laughs> workforce every year. Sounds like he just burped up the cream of the crop. Mmm, creamy. Follow your dreams, kids. Right into the larger encompassing <laughs> horrible nightmare. <laughs> well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon. I might as well crank one. I know, I decided to look around for some food. Of course, among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. It's basically a miracle you don't put your pants on your head every morning. I do! And then I remember... <laughs> I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the god of death. My grandmother used to call it shining. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Yeah, 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 we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, don't worry about it. Aaron is really struggling with his mic, for those of you at home. Boomstand, un- No! Get it off auto! You yeah, alright? It's fine, everything's fine. Don't worry about okay. me. Okay. Everything's fine. Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Hello everyone, you beautiful everyone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hooray. So happy to be back, man. How are you doing? Oh, uh, dude. It's been a wild ride, man. It's been a wild ride, you know? I'm a, I'm a troubled soul, and, uh, being- not distracting myself with work for a week and a half was, uh, was pretty tough. But, you know, we're back at it, we're playing video games, I'm here with my friend Dan, we're doing ah, things. That's a shockingly heavy answer, man. God damn. Well, you know how it is. It's- it's the- yeah. it's the- the holiday time, you know? Everyone's like, oh, that's great, I can't wait for it, and then... And then by, you know, day three of, of the holidays, people in their fucking robe and cigarette, and they're like, I guess I'll wait until next year. <laughs> like, it's just... It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's so- it's so it's so weird how time has been moving lately. Um, do, do you remember the, uh, the Chappelle show sketch where he's Rick James, and, uh, Rick James is so fucked up, he- he punches Charlie Murphy in the head, and, um, Charlie Murphy comes back five minutes later and, like, just- just beats the shit out of him. <laughs> Rick James is like, why'd you do that? And why'd you hit me? And Charlie Murphy is like, cause you hit me, man! And Rick James is like, that was weeks ago, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> that's how- that's how time feels like it's moving. Like, one day has been eight years. Yeah. But also a year has been two minutes. It's so bizarre. Yeah, no, it, it truly is. I think I actually dissociated uh, yesterday, which was weird. It's the first time that's ever happened. I don't know what happened. that means. It's, it's just like, oh, like existence isn't real, and I stepped outside of my body for a second, and <laughs> like nothing felt like it was right or at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I've, I've, I've never had it in the bad sense. I've had like... Like, when the Giants won the Super Bowl, it felt like an out-of-body experience just because I was so happy. Oh, you know? wow. Um... Oh. So, I, I- I- I guess I kinda know? But, oh, cool. Uh, I've never really experienced anything quite like that. Yeah, it was wild, man. Um... Anyway, we're playing video games for a living, so... Oh, right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is Don- For those of you who don't realize, I- I know it's just been a- a like a- a straight shot to the end. Um, but this is the first time we're recording after the, uh, the holiday break. Um, you know, we took a little time off. So that's why the- the tone is probably a little different. Yeah, meanwhile, it-, it this is just an episode that comes out after the episode yesterday. Yes. For, for the lovelies. Exactly. And they're like, what the hell is wrong with these guys? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, uh, I thought when I booted this up that I didn't save it. Um, and I was like, uh-oh, and I was like speeding through everything, but then I realized, no, the chapter just ended in the trash, and we ended it in the trash, so... So we're good. We're- everything's good. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna read what I skipped over, and then where we were, uh, now. Sounds good. So, it's Makoto, and he's like, The ultimate despair group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people are put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed, but right now... Alright. <laughs> so we're good. Got it. Anyway... So we're on, like, basically a reality TV show? 
Oh, was that- yes, that's right, they're broadcasting this to the rest of the world. But there's still- I- we still haven't figured out who the- the mastermind is? Right. Or like the ultimate- I don't know, whatever. The point is, there's still mystery to be solved. Okay, got it. Yeah. Ahem. Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure the audience wouldn't mind that. <laughs> just okay. No more mysteries. Let's go. Rattle, rattle. Hey. It's locked, but we have to. There ha we have to away. Wait, did it say we have to away? Ha I think it said we have a way to open this door. Oh, what's the way? Oh shit! It's been a while. The power of positive thinking. <laughs> yeah, like oh, I guess I should talk to Kyoko. <laughs> Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. Damn, alright. Nah, that... I threw it away. I thought- I didn't think it would be useful. <laughs> it's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. Okay. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. Hey, Kyoko, we can use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's right? <laughs> Let's find out. Can we use the key to open the door? Let's see if we can use the key to open the door. But we can- We can use the key to open the door, right? <laughs> the door will open, right? Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then, click. Yes! It opened! Right? <laughs> right. And now we can get out of here, through the door that we opened with the key. Let's go. Sounds good, right? We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Here we go! Finally, we were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief, because the real fight had just begun. Thereby showing us to not really be free at all, actually. <laughs> ultimate pain, oh, ultimate crap. suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate excuse, ultimate death. Man, it really is, like, down to the final crew. Yeah. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We're also left with probably the most useful team members there are. We've got Hiro and Toko. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they, you introduce them one by one and they all spout whatever <laughs> nonsense they've been saying the entire time. <laughs> We st we started cl ah! we started climbing the ladder intent on reaching the surface. Oh jeez, <laughs> the ladder was possibly long. <laughs> yeah, just look at that hot shot of Makoto. <laughs> yeah, right. I can see his firm apple bottom jeans. <laughs> you got that green bean climbing those ladders there. Mm -mm. <laughs> the ladder was impossibly long; I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. <laughs> oh, geez, sorry. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Don't you find it hard to climb in high heels? Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> and more importantly, if you slip, your taint will land right on my head. <laughs> and I don't want that. I just don't want that green bean. And now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will keep my- will help keep my mind off it. So, um, Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So, how long have you been doing detective work? Um, enough small talk, dude. <laughs> yeah, she, she's like, maybe you could climb and talk. <laughs> how long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then is your family famous? Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. They can't detect us. That's how good we are. Huh? But how <laughs> Okay, there you are. Uh-uh, but how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Because we take pride in it. Pride? What does that mean? Indeed. 
A detective is neither light nor shadow. They're a detective. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In fact, maybe there's a lot of things that they are. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't talk while we climb. <laughs> <laughs> we represent neither justice nor evil. That's how we can uncover the absolute truth. Okay. <laughs> we stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence in a hot, <laughs> slathering oil of neutrality. <laughs> yeah. As I wear this, like, these cool, badass boots that really catch your eye and this jacket that's kind of like a skirt, too, and it... Really makes the 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 men go whoa. A conscious. No effort. one notices my flamingo legs that are eight thousand miles long. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of old fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. My family, the Holmeses. <laughs> I think I've heard of your dad. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride? What does that mean? So that explains... <laughs> Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose. To protect the pride of her family! However... And yet... I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I Gambling. In, in order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that! What? Reconnect? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would've had so much to talk about. There's nothing I want to talk to my father However, about. There is something I want to say to him, though. That's talking. I... <laughs> so, uh, gotcha! <laughs> no, matter how, no matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. <laughs> What do you have against ties? I wear them <laughs> in formal events all the time! <laughs> the last time I saw him, he was wearing a clip-on, and I could never get over it. I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to- He was in line to- To become the next head of the Kirigiri family. I don't know if that was pausing on your screen, too, but... <laughs> what? Uh, he- it just said he was in line and then the letter T. Oh. And I was like, okay, I guess, I guess that's what she wanted to yeah. say. He was talented and had a promising future. However. But he had no interest in detective work. What an asshole, right? <laughs> so he cut himself off from the family. Oh. Like so many ties. <laughs> he had no interest in detective work, only on raising me as a child and a loving father. I hated him for it. Yeah, I could never forgive him. <laughs> Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. Aaron? What? <laughs> he went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. And as young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. <laughs> Damn, you should write, like, a Papa Roach song about this. Cut my ties in two pieces. <laughs> because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. Pride? <laughs> What's I that? Take, I take pride in my family name. Still haven't explained to me what it is. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above- I'll never forgive him for this. <laughs> <laughs> I was above Kyoko on the ladder, but I felt like I was beneath her. I mean, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked even when she said that, which she might have been feeling. I could have looked down, I guess, but whatever. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. 
and more emotional. I, I hate emotional! <laughs> I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. Kyoko, could you shut up? However, Kyo Kyoko's literally saying every possible angle for everything. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate what he did for me. I can never forgive him. I, I owe him many thanks. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> but there's this one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... Yes. I could never forgive him for how much I forgive him. <laughs> the way everyone looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. How much I appreciated the greatness that he did for me. <laughs> God, I hate him. I hope he dies. <laughs> they only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. And I can never forgive him for that. <laughs> I need to thank him. His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. And also, God, I, love I miss it. him. <laughs> yes. I need him out of my life and right back in my life. I need to step out of this shadow and into the light that only he can provide. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. And he's the only family I have in order to settle the past and heal the past and heal the future. In order to remove him from my life forever, so I could see him every day. <laughs> I have no doubt that he forgot about me years ago. I'm sure he remembers me. <laughs> He's thinking about me all the time. But, <laughs> but your family, to just cut him out like that. Who said anything about cutting him out? Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. And our deep connection through hanging out every day, <laughs> which we will do. And we are connected- are we connected by heart and soul? No. Only soul and heart. <laughs> is blood really enough to call someone family? Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, even though I didn't know anything about her other than what I'm hearing right now. I didn't know how to respond, so instead, I said nothing. I farted a little, hope she didn't get a whiff. <laughs> I just kept climbing the ladder, complete silence. And, uh, <laughs> and after it I was in a, yeah, she had no choice but to follow. It was in effect the most, <laughs> the most effective crop dusting I've ever performed in my life. <laughs> They say heat rises, but my farts are ice cold. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Oof. It was the same drawing, but I guess in a different location. Looks like this is it. On the other side On of the this other si Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back! A dinosaur story. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Oh, did you? Okay, cool. I guess you knew this was gonna happen ahead of time. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. <sighs> Let out another one. Hope she didn't hear. The hatch opened with ease, and so... I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Looks like we're back. But I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. And full of life and energy. <laughs> I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Ah, relaxation. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. Alright, bye. Yeah, cool. Well, I thought that was going to be our moment of true connection. <laughs> This is- now I know how your dad feels. This is how he got out of the garbage pit. Jeez. <laughs> never would have imagined that's where this led. What do you mean you never would have imagined that's where that led? You're in the garbage room! <laughs> so now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out, and I'm worried about you too, you help me, so they might- Listen. You're worried? Uh, yeah. So then. Then let's just get a concrete answer. Do you love me? Do you uh, want uh, this Nana? <laughs> I'm just sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. What? That's... However, if we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out. And it's not like we can run away. 
As she said that, she pointed at the near-my surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than just stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Alright. Because... Because <laughs> I thought a bunch of clowns were going to start appearing on unicycles. <laughs> are you telling me the clowns are not coming to town? <laughs> Because, no, the clowns the are definitely coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. I misunderstood what you were thinking about. Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared? You said something like that before. What does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makura's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. Pride? What does that mean? There was. <laughs> if we could talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. Um, are you high? <laughs> I, I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Monokuma should be in the gym. He's always working on his glutes. Shall we go? Let's get going. He's probably blasting his delts right now as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave the area. Um, what were all the buttons again? Oh, jeez. This this one. Map! Gaim. Where's the Gaim? Jim, Gaim. Go! Yo. Nice. I teleported it's there, like the so one time the fast traveling was- Yeah, <laughs> The fast travel was like as long as it would have taken just to trot over there. <laughs> yeah. Well now, well now, well now, well now. Oh, that's not what he said. He said, "Hey, hey, 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 hey." Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Kelko, I don't mind so much, but Makoto's supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? <gasps> you were supposed to be punished. Did Kelko help you? So what if I did? What will you do? Kill me? Like you even have that power. <laughs> <laughs> if the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. For some reason I was flashbacked to that like Santa game that we played. Where it was like the 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 prosecutor swung at the debtor or something like that. You remember oh that? Oh my god. Sakura Santa or whatever it was? Yeah, I- for when he said, if the guilty party is exposed, there's just something about the way he said that that made me think of, like... It- the, yeah, it feels very much like English was the second language in this situation. Yeah. Um, alright. Like, translated to... It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again! And this time, I won't leave anything to chance. K Kyoko! Do whatever you feel you have to. What the fuck? <laughs> but before you do, let me just say one thing. <laughs> How's my man supposed to shmeet his me with this shit, bro? If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? Lose? Yo, yeah, explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the Blackened and then executed, right? Hey, what are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like right. that. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blackened and tried to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. Hmm. However. But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. The clowns. <laughs> an 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 I knew an it! That <laughs> da 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 <laughs> an entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. You know... I don't understand why he doesn't just like blow them both up and he's like, Alright, enough of that. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. I think because it's being watched on TV by everyone. Oh, word. Alter ego. You never imagined the possibility of being that- A being that could come to our aid even after you'd killed it. Am I wrong? Now here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Makuro. 
You did. Oh, schnibbies. Ooh, so I'm the blackened. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Hmm. And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the blackened is me and not Makoto. Well? And you can prove this, right? Well. No, I can't. Well, great. <laughs> All right, then you're dying. <laughs> Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine? To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence? I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. Unless someone kills me first, but what are the odds of that? <laughs> comedy, that is. I don't have any comedy right now. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Because... That absolute truth is that Endless breadsticks are at the Olive Garden. What? <laughs> Don't you fucking dare try to stop the breadsticks. If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. And what better place to run and hide than Olive Garden's endless soup and salad? <laughs> Buried in a pile of delicious breadsticks that just keep coming. <laughs> he would have been gripped by the despair you so love to inspire. But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. <gasps> if you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Despair can never kill hope. Goo! What? <laughs> of course, you can say we're just making all this up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. Damn! <laughs> well, She's good. You know, like, you know the Twitch chat for this? the stream in real life. It's like all the chat people in the chat are just like, KILL HER! KILL HER! Yeah, well, KILL HER NOW! Yeah. <laughs> Twitch streams can be cruel. <laughs> if you want to earn our despair fair and square, go over there, you little bear. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest you take my advice. <laughs> Goo! So what is this advice of yours? Does it mean I have to do some chores? <laughs> to do Makuro's trial over again. <laughs> Only this time, you follow the school's regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final it, battle between oh, hope okay. and despair. Hey. I guess she'll say that. <laughs> well, that will make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words, a samurai showdown. This would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer of the mastermind themselves. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. Goo. Goo. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting indeed. See, I can do it too. So, so ba cute. Barry. What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So, time for bear jokes! <laughs> now, what you've suggested might be possible. It oh, would certainly God. make for one honey of a climax. <laughs> Does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. You, can't, you just don't keep using bear. Yeah, like, it's. Please. Switch it I, up. We're, all our lives are on the line. <laughs> will your hope win out, or will my disbear claim victory? I can barely control Let's have myself. one final grizzly showdown. All right, see, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. He agreed. Makes then we still have a shot at this. Yeah. Uh, but this is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting in. Dude, you gotta f hire a writer Dude. or something. Dude. <laughs> so for this final face-off, you'll be- you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. <laughs> Oy vey. 
All the mysteries. That's right, every last mystery that's pawing around the school. <laughs> if you can do that, then that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for okay. you. All right, qualify was yeah. good. Was, I, I really like that one. Yeah. That full credit. Yeah. It's true. He was he was That's he was using we, all the bear parts to like run the gears. He was running on easy absolutely. mode. And then and then he knocked it out of the park right at the end. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well good. Then let's bear it all. You can claw your way up to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of the school. Then you win! But if you can't do all that. We'll all face execution, right? No, you'll face bear execution. Fuck. <laughs> this is hard. Kihi, <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair re reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Are you a bear? <laughs> do, you rem do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held? What's wrong? I remember that for, for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? Kiki, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. Having a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Mukuro... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the, begin since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Mm. Well, if he says no, then... I mean... I, well, if he says yes, then he might not be telling the truth now either. You already know he's a liar. Yeah. Why'd he go quiet okay. all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm done talking! I've got nothing left to say to you! So get lost, would ya? Why so serious? <laughs> <laughs> He seems emotionally unstable. Oh, is that right, world's greatest detective? <laughs> I have deduced that there may be something wrong with this bear. Been here for three weeks, he's killed 11 people. <laughs> Leave me alone, get out of here! Okay, I'm going, I just... You're really gonna let me go? I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with this bear. Hey. Come, come on, Makoto. Let's go. Okay. This guy's a tool. Uh. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And next time on Game Grumps, we'll find out what it's all about, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I I love it. All right. I'm happy Let's, to be back. Hell yeah, we're back at it. We're Don Gone Ron Pudding. Let's do it. <laughs> love it. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.